Okay, we're looking at the GUI for the AD75019 test driver. And we can look at the different areas. On the left, we see the X pin inputs. So these pins are set by us. We can set them here by clicking. So red is off, green is on. Okay, we see that. Here is the connection matrix. So, for example, this square means that we're going to connect X0 input to Y0 output. We click there and it goes on and off, right? Those are for all the connections, the connection possibilities. There's a 16 by 16 matrix. All right, one thing we should know is that it starts in the internals of the AD75019. The first element, in other words, the zeroth element, is X15, Y15. So that's why if we click here, we see that action ID is equal to 16 because first in our in our GUI we're sending 16 values for the X pins and then the first element of the connection matrix. See that? So here we're just monitoring the actions that are sent to the Arduino. So if we sent pin 0, we sent action 0. See that? Okay, then currently the X pins inputs are just connected to the Y pin outputs which are shown here. So this is what we read from the Y pins. At the very top we have the theoretical value that should be read on the Y pins and this indicator showing whether everything is okay. So for example, if we click here, now we have a zero here, on, we have a green and a green, but there's no connection so that's incorrect. If we add a connection, it becomes correct. We can turn this all off. We have a button here which will toggle connections, full off, full on, okay? And then we can turn on auto exec. Auto exec will execute a sequence of toggles of the inputs and the connections. And we're watching what happens. So we've now toggled this one, and we're toggling here, 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 here. See how we're toggling and we're getting a very varied results. This is just to do some automated testing. There's no uh, there's no significance in the order used currently. We can also turn it off. It takes some time sometimes depending upon what's going on and other things going on. Okay, and we notice we can turn on and off elements and we see that this one went on all by itself because there was leftovers in the queue that weren't handled yet. So that's about all we have on this input. We can also uh, do other things. For example, we can clear the display here by right right clicking and then we can start it up again. Tick, tick, tick. And that's about all. This works very well. The next step is to connect it to the actual AD75019. Thank you very much.